Now, I've got my thumbs up and a green light. Drivers behind the line. In three, two, one, go. Walk through our last playoff match, playoff 13. The winner here will move on to finals. Let's take a look at what they're up to. It's the, the autonomous period, 1741. Very consistent in placing their status quo on the charge station, the Red Alliance, just to match them. That was the end of our autonomous period. As we move in the tele off, all robots are in motion. They're controlled by their human players. 3176, that purple precision, already quickly placing a cube on the top side of their grid. All of those cube stations already filled. They're going to need some cones to finish up those links. 5484, that's Wolf Pack looking to place a cone now on the middle part of their grid. That's three points for each thing placed on that center row. 3947, that's the last Crusaders making trouble in the center of their field. Their main objective appears to be pushing cones over towards their opponent's areas such they can hold multiple in their community zone that is allowed. 1741, that's Red Alert. They're not from too far away, making use of their loading area and their human player to grab a cone up from that high bay. 4580, not too happy with that progress. A little bit of bumper and bumper action as they try to maintain their strength in this community. 80 seconds remaining in your match. 76, 70, 657, not to be outdone, uh, accounting more to their total, making their way over the charge station to save time. Purple Precision 3176 showing off their swerve drive as they can rotate and move at the same time. Plenty of defensive action today in this game. The scores are not decided yet. Currently 62 to 70, each with two links each. Each link that gets properly constructed is worth five points for their alliance, which is the same amount as putting a game piece on the high rung, just like 1741 was able to successfully demonstrate for us. Plenty of red robots on the field causing havoc for their blue alliance counterparts, causing them to decrease their overall score. We've now entered end game with just under 30 seconds remaining. They'll start making their way over to their charge stations. They do points for contact alone, but they want it to be level to maximize the amount of points they'll see. Keep an eye out on both sides of the field. They're probably going to attempt to fit three up there to maximize their chances of winning. The Red Alliance currently has two touching. They're going to need a third in a level configuration. The Blue Alliance is getting steady. That seems to be the end of your game. The Blue Alliance is balanced. The Red Alliance just shy. We'll have to see how these scores sum up. While the rafts are chatting it up, we want to give a huge shout out to our field crew. We have constant repairs on the field that you may not have noticed. So please give a huge round of applause to all those working to maintain our field of play throughout all of our matches today. We'll check back in just a moment to see those scores. We're waiting for the rest to figure out what just happened in our last match.
It was a four point difference. Let's see our scores for your last playoff match. Your winners are the Red Alliance. Your Red Alliance, that's Alliance four with a score of 115. They will continue on to the finals match, which we'll see here in a moment after an awards break. We want to say a huge thank to Alliance six for their awesome showing in today's event. So a huge shout out to 1741, that's Red Alert. 3176, that's Purple Precision, and 3947, the last Crusaders for all of your efforts and hard work during today's competition here at the Finn District Greenwood event.